Today, we're going over the top 10 richest people in 2020. Elon Musk, $210 billion. Elon Musk is one of the most enterprising, eccentric, and creative entrepreneurs with a vision to change the world. And, oh yes, Mars as well. The man who sent his roadster to space is laughing all the way to the bank, with not just his success at Tesla, but with the path-breaking milestones in batteries and electric cars. Elon Musk in 2021 became NASA's go-to guy by securing the contract for making the moon lander for NASA's upcoming mission to Mars. Besides his many ventures, Musk's aerospace engineering firm, SpaceX, has seen phenomenal success with sustainable reusable rocket technology and is even ferrying NASA astronauts to the space station and back. Elon was born in South Africa and got his bachelor's degree in physics and economics from the University of Pennsylvania. He postponed his enrollment in a doctoral physics program at Stanford University for two days in order to create ZIP2, one of the earliest internet navigation systems. He reinvested a portion of the earnings from this firm to build X.com, the online payment system that eBay Incorporated ended up acquiring. Afterwards, there was no stopping Musk, and today, his net worth is a staggering $219 billion. He is by far the world's richest man, and now, his next conquest is the social media platform Twitter, for which he's in the process of signing a $44 billion deal for. So, what do you guys think? How long will Elon Musk remain at number one? Or do you think anybody is headed right on his heels? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, pip pip to doodly do. Number 2. Jeff Bezos, $133 billion. Who would have thought Jeff Bezos would become the second richest man in the world by selling books on Amazon when he first started out? At the age of 30, Jeff Bezos quit the finance profession to create a business that many considered quite foolish. Amazon was born as an online library and today is one of the largest e-commerce sites in the world, currently valued at over $1 trillion. Bezos is credited with pioneering the e-commerce scene, which is now one of the world's largest sectors. He built Amazon into a marketplace where consumers can buy and sell virtually anything and created one of the most sophisticated logistic organization platforms in the world. Amazon did not stop there, expanding to include Amazon Prime Video and Amazon Web Services, and is currently the leading cloud service provider. In 2021, Bezos stepped down as Amazon CEO, handing over the reins to Andy Jassy. Today, Jeff has diversified into aerospace technology and suborbital spaceflight with Blue Origins, a company he founded in 2000. It further swelled Bezos' financial portfolio, soaring his net worth up to $133 billion, which has increased another $3.2 billion with stocks rising in the recent months. And finally, Bernard Arnault, $128 billion. Meet the Pope of Fashion, Bernard Arnault, the man with a golden touch in the fashion world. A French citizen, Bernard Arnault is the chair and CEO of LVMH, the world's largest luxury goods company. LVMH owns brands like Louis Vuitton, Hennessy, Marc Jacobs, and Sephora. Most of Arnold's fortune stems from his enormous investment in Christian Dior SE, the holding company that controls 41.3% of LVMH. His shares in Christian Dior SE plus an extra 6.2% in LVMH are held through his family-owned holding firm Group Familial Arnold. An engineer by background, Arnold initially displayed his economic aptitude while working for his father's construction firm, for which he gained command of the company in 1971. He turned Ferret 7L into a real estate company called Ferronel Incorporated. And today, Arnold is considered the richest man in fashion and sits at number three on the richest list with $128 billion. Number four, Bill Gates. 
$115 billion. Now, he is a man who was a real whiz kid when he was young. Bill Gates created his first software program when he was just 13. I mean, can you beat that? And who even knew that this kid would go on to become the co-founder of Microsoft, the largest computer software firm in the world? It was founded in 1975 and has continued its expansion in computing, software, and gaming sectors over the years, acquiring Activision Blizzard in a $68.7 billion deal. Gates has kept an active involvement in the company, but he eventually sold away the majority of his stake, retaining only 1% of the shares and investing the rest in stocks and other assets. Bill Gates just recently entered the $100 billion club last year in April, when Microsoft's share price surged post-earnings. Bill has now resigned from Microsoft in order Number to... Number 5. Larry Page, $99.2 billion. Did you know that Larry Page co-founded Google when he was just 23 years old? Larry Page, like several other software millionaires on our list, began his route to fame and fortune in a college dorm room. In 1995, while Page was a student at Stanford University, he and his friend Sergey Brin came up with the concept of enhancing internet data extraction. Due to its ability to examine backing links, the team created a new search engine technology that they termed Backrub. And from there, Page and Brin founded Google in 1998. And you know how the story goes. The firm also owns YouTube as well. And in 2008, Google unveiled the Android mobile phone operating system after acquiring Android Incorporated in 2005. These developments just keep pushing Page up the billionaire's list, where he sits now with a hefty 99.2 number 6. Guatam Adani, $98.8 billion. Meet Guatam Adani, the richest man in India and Asia, taking over from Mukesh Ambani with a $225 million rise in his net worth of $98.8 billion. Adani's entrepreneurial DNA comes directly from his father, who had a textile firm. Despite the possibility of inheritance, Adani had little interest in the business and preferred to follow his own dreams to attain a big fortune. Soon after leaving home, Adani entered the diamond market, which saw him quickly ascend to the millionaire status. Upon acquiring this money, he formed Adani Enterprises, a conglomerate that today handles many industries and sectors including energy, transportation, mining, infrastructure, logistics, cement, and fast-moving consumer products. Thanks to India's economic growth, Adani's stock market success and new investments in green energy have contributed more than $40 billion to his net worth over the past year, propelling him right to the top of Number the seven, Warren Buffett, $96.4 billion. From paperboy to billionaire, a rags-to-riches story can't get better than this. Warren Buffett, the most renowned living value investor, submitted his first tax return in 1944 at the age of 14, reporting revenues from his paper route. He first purchased shares in Berkshire Hathaway in 1962, becoming the majority stakeholder in 1965, and in 67, he expanded the business into insurance and other investments. As of May 5th, 2022, a single Class A share of Berkshire Hathaway was trading for more than $481,000. The company's current market capitalization is currently $705 billion. Buffett is a buy-and-hold investor who built his fortune by acquiring undervalued companies. More recently, Berkshire Hathaway has invested in large, well-known companies. Its portfolio of wholly owned subsidiaries, including interests in insurance, energy distribution, railroads, and consumer products. But I'll tell you this, don't try mentioning Bitcoin to Warren Buffett. This man made his billions with old-fashioned money and is very skeptical about New Age digital rate. Sergey Brin, $95.1 billion. 
Don't be surprised that Sergey Brin has made this list at number 8. After all, where would we be on the internet without the guy? Along with Larry Page, Brin gave us Google, and our lives changed forever. Brin has a net worth of $95.1 billion and co-founded the search engine in 1998. The duo met at Sanford, and since then there has been no stopping them. Brin became Google's president of technology, and Eric Schmidt took over as CEO in 2001. After establishing parent company Alphabet in 2015, Brin held the top post, finally stepping down in 2015. 19, when Sundar Pichai took over as CEO. Brin came from a humble background, immigrating with his family from Russia to the United States in 1979, when he was just six years old. Until 2020, Brin's net worth was in the range of around 100 billion, but today, his net value still rests at quite a comfortable amount, 95.1 billion. Number nine, Steve Ballmer. $91.9 billion. Former Microsoft CEO and current owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, Ballmer occupies the ninth spot on this list. His riches are the result of both his gains with the team and his continued ownership of Microsoft stock. After dropping out of Stanford's MBA program at 24, Bulmer joined Microsoft as employee number 30 in 1980. Bulmer spearheaded Microsoft's efforts to catch up to Google in search capabilities and Apple in mobile phones in 2014. He retired from Microsoft as a billionaire. In the same year, he paid $2 billion for the Los Angeles Clippers of the National Basketball Association. Since 2014, he has increased his philanthropy, contributing more than $2 billion to a donor-advised fund with the goal of bringing Americans out of poverty. In 2018, he invested $59 million in Social Solutions, a software developer for nonprofits and government agencies. And today, his net worth sits at a hefty $91.9 billion. Larry Ellison, $87.2 billion. Larry Ellison, like many others on this list, attributes his vast fortune to the development of technology. After dropping out of college in 1977, he created Oracle and built it from a startup to one of the largest software and database firms in the world. Oracle's current market valuation is $187.7 billion, and Ellison has kept more than 40% of the company's stock. Ellison amassed his fortune independently, but due to considerable investments he made in Tesla before the company's stratospheric rise, he received a net return of more than 1,000%. In 2018, he joined Tesla's board of directors. However, in June, Tesla announced that Ellison would step out. However, he still owns around 1.5% of Tesla's outstanding shares. According to the Bloomberg list of billionaires, Ellison's net worth stands at $87.2 billion, but this net worth has risen a considerable amount of $921 million in just the last two or three months.